असलम एंड वेलकम आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल आई एम जुवेरिया हेयर टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेशन फ्राम चैप्टर नंबर टू बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग और टू डेज लेसन आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू ओपन योर नोट बुक्स एंड होल्ड योर पेंसिल्स इन योर हैंड्स दीज आर द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ और टू डेज लेसन स्टूडेंट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेशन यू शुड नो अबाउट दी शेल्स एंड सब शेल्स सो लेट्स डिस्कस दैम फर्स्ट शेल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू बोहर्स अटोमिक थ्यूरी अलेक्ट्रॉन्स रिवॉल्व अराउंड दी न्यूक्लियस इन सर्कुलर पार्थ कार शेल्स और ऑर्बिट्स ईच ऑर्बिट हैज़ फिक्स एनर्जी सो आल्सो कार्ड एनर्जी लेवल ईच शेल इज डिस्क्राइब एन वैल्यू एंड एन कैन हैव वैल्यूज एन वन एन टू एन थ्री एंड एन फोर हेयर दिस इज अ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एन एटम इन द सेंटर न्यूक्लियस इज प्रेजेंट एंड अराउंड द न्यूक्लियस शेल्स आर प्रेजेंट when the value of n is 1 then it is k shell when the value of n is 2 then it is l shell when the value of n is 3 then it is m shell and when the value of n is 4 then it is n shell and so on as the value of n increases the distance of electrons from nucleus increases and as a result the energy of shell also increases here this is diagram of an atom in the center nucleus is present and around the nucleus three shells are present n1 n2 and n3 here n1 has the lowest distance from the nucleus so it has the lowest energy whereas n3 has the highest distance from the nucleus so it has the highest energy each shell has a maximum limit for electrons and we can calculate it by using the formula 2n square to understand this just look at this diagram here this is the first shell and it can hold maximum 2 electrons 1 2 this is the second shell and it can hold maximum 8 electrons this is the third shell and it can hold maximum 18 electrons students if we have four shell over here then four shell can hold maximum 32 electrons next are the sub shells a shell or energy level is subdivided into sub shells or sub energy levels we have four types of sub shells s sub shell p sub shell d sub shell f sub shell and so on like the shells the sub shells also has maximum limit for electrons s sub shell can accommodate two electrons p sub shell can accommodate six electrons d sub shell can accommodate 10 electrons and f sub shell can accommodate 14 electrons Here, this diagram shows you the shells and subshells. In the center of this atomic structure, nucleus is present, and around the nucleus, n one is the first shell. It is made up of only one subshell, which is s. N two is the second shell. It has two subshells, s and p. N three is the third shell. It has three subshells, s, p, and d. Whereas n fourth is a fourth shell and it has four sub shells s p d and f here this table shows you the n value shell number of sub shells representation of sub shells and maximum number of electrons let's suppose that the value of n is 3 then it is m shell and it has three sub shells which are represented as 3s 3p 3d we know S sub shell can hold maximum two electrons. P sub shell can hold maximum six electrons, and D sub shell can hold maximum ten electrons. And when we add them, then we get eighteen, which is the maximum limit for M shell. Energy of sub shells. The increasing order of energy of sub shells belonging to different shell is one s, two s, two p, three s, three p, four s, three d, four p, and so on. To understand this, just look at this energy diagram. Here, this arrow indicates the increasing order of energy of sub shells. If you look over here, this is the first sub shell, so it has lowest energy. Whereas 4f is the last sub shell, so it has highest energy. And if we compare the energy of 1s with 2s, then 1s has the low energy as compared to 2s. Or if we compare the energy value of 2p with 3s, then 2p has the low energy as compared to 3s. A force principle. 
according to afwa principle electron fill the lowest energy subshell which is available first here the lowest energy subshell is 1s so electron first fill the 1s subshell shell then they fill the 2s subshell then they fill the 2p subshell and once the number of electrons will complete in 2p subshell then electron will fill the 3s subshell after 3s subshell electron will fill 3p subshell and so on i know it is difficult to memorize increasing order of energy of subshells don't worry we have a solution for it which is a diagonal rule it is an easy way to remember the sequence of energy of subshells we start from 1s here this is 1s and then we move along the arrows first we write the 1s then we write the 2s then we again start from here we write 2p then we write 3s and then again we start from here we write 3p then 4s then again we start from here 3d 4p 5s and so on next is the electronic configuration according to the definition the arrangement of electrons in the subshells is called as the electronic configuration and we can do this by listing the symbols of subshells one after the other we know the symbols for the subshells are s p d and f we can fill the electrons in the subshells by using the afwas principle and we show the number of electrons in each subshell as a superscript to each symbol here this is the electronic configuration of hydrogen element the atomic number of hydrogen is 1 so it means it has only one electron that will occupy the lowest energy subshell which is 1s so the electronic configuration of hydrogen is 1s1 here one in the form of superscript represents the number of electron in the hydrogen element s is the type of subshell and one is for the energy level electronic configuration of first 10 elements here this table shows you the electronic configuration of first five elements first element is hydrogen it has atomic number 1 so its electronic configuration is 1s1 the second element is helium it has atomic number 2 so it has two electrons since a subshell can accommodate two electrons so electronic configuration of helium is 1s2 the third element is lithium it has atomic number 3 so it has three electrons two will fill 1s subshell and one will go into the 2s subshell so the electronic configuration of lithium is 1s2 2s1 the fourth element is beryllium it has atomic number 4 so it has four electrons two of these electrons go into the 1s subshell and remaining two will go into the 2s subshell so the electronic configuration of beryllium is 1s2 2s2 the fifth element is boron it has atomic number 5 so it has five electrons two of these electron go into the 1s subshell two will go to the 2s subshell once the 2s subshell is filled then the 2p subshells begins to fill and remaining one electron of the boron will go into the 2p subshell thus the electronic configuration of boron is 1s2 2s2 2p1 Here this table shows you the electronic configuration of next five elements these elements will also have configuration in which 2p subshell will be progressively filled as you can see over here the electronic configuration of carbon is 1s2 2s2 2p2 here the last subshell of carbon is 2p2 the next element is nitrogen and its last subshell is 2p3 for oxygen the last subshell is 2p4 for fluorine the last subshell is 2p5 and for neon the last subshell is 2p6 once the 2p has completely filled then the additional electron will start filling the 3s subshell here the electronic configuration of sodium element is given it has atomic number 11 so it has 11 electrons and thus its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 
ओके स्टूडेंट दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेशन शेल्स एंड सब शेल्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू गेट वट वी हैव लर्न सो फॉर हेयर आर फ्यू क्वेश्चन फॉर योर होमवर्क और टूडेज लेसन एंड हेयर ओके स्टूडेंट्स अल्लाह हाफिज़ स्टे होम स्टे सेफ